This is a tutorial for how to use the Sphero app on the iPad. So this is a screen of one of the iPads and you're gonna go to the icon that looks like this one, the um, turquoise one with EDU on it. Um, here it is again over on the left. Hopefully you can see my cursor in this recording on my computer. Um, and you're going to go ahead and click on that. And then on this page, you will click I'm a school user. So that purple bar on the left, right there. When you get to this page, you are actually going to not click the one over here with the students, which you might think that would be the one. You're actually gonna click this one over here. Let's code, this pink one on the right side that says quick start, let's code. So once you're in here, you'll be able to drive and code your robot. So starting out, you're going to drive. So down in the left-hand corner, um, you're gonna see this little drive icon and that's actually what you can tap right away and it will prompt you to connect to your robot. For this, you will select the Sphero Bolt, which is right there in the top in the middle. And when you get to this screen, you'll see a bunch of robots show up. The one you've been given, you just need to hold near your iPad and it will have the most blue bars, um, like this one on the top left. So I click that one, it's connecting, and now it is connected. So here I am, um, and this is where I can drive. So this is a little like kind of, a remote control so I can um, drag this little blue thing to make it move. I can also click aim over in the bottom corner and by dragging this around the little blue light on the back of the robot will move and that will show me where the back of my robot is. I can change the color by clicking over here and I can change the speed with this little um, thing I'm dragging up and down right there. So that would be slower, that would be faster. So that is driving. When I'm ready to code, I will go on the left hand side over here and that will get me to programs. And to start a program, I'm going to click the plus sign and name my program. I'm not gonna, um, I guess I will name my program just to test something out. And this is where I'm going to code around a square. The simplest thing to do would be to um, take these blocks that are right here under movements, the very first block here, and drag four of those up. And then I, will aim by clicking up over in the right hand corner and make sure that my little blue light is on the back of my robot. And my very first line, I will keep at zero degrees so that the robot will go straight as long as I have my blue light on the back of the robot, it will go straight for the first um, line. Next, I will set my speed. And I don't want anyone to set a speed above 50. So 45 would be fine. And then I will say how many seconds. So I have to probably test this. So I might try like three seconds and then I'm done. Next, I'll go to the next block. And since I'm gonna be making a turn, I will have to change the direction. So I will make a right turn and go 90 degrees. And then I'll go over here, do the same thing, set my speed. Again, 50 or less, probably even about the same as my last speed. Since it's a square, all the lengths will be the same. And again, my duration, which is three seconds again, I'm gonna put. 
And then I keep doing the same thing. And again, I've done my right turn. I'm gonna do another right turn at the next corner and set my speed. and my time. And then the last corner, I've done a right turn, another right turn, and my last right turn. And then I'm going to click start. And that little black block has to be connected to these other blocks for it to work when you hit start. So I would hit start and it will test out my code. And you'll see if I keep this little box up, it shows how it is moving in a square. Oh, but it looks like it moved too far. So I might have to go back and adjust some different things. Um, but that is the basics of how to log on to the app, drive and code. Good luck. Oh, sorry, the last thing I do want to show you real quick is when you're done, you'll go back to this screen you'll see the little icon up over in the very right hand corner with the little robot showing the battery life. You'll click on that and click disconnect. And now you are fully done. I'm gonna go back to sign in so it gets me back to this page. That's it.